Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, back with another episode with another speaker at Compliance Week 2023. Today, I have my good friend, Gwen Hassan. Gwen, first of all, welcome, and thank you so much for taking the time to visit with me today. You are most welcome, Tom. It's always a pleasure talking with you. Gwen was the first person in the corporate world who I met who was talking about human trafficking. And she has continued that dialogue and that discussion. She has her own podcast. Let me say award-winning podcast oh, you're so on kind. human trafficking. <laughs> uh, so why don't you tell us what you're up to now, Gwen? Sure. So I continue with the podcast. It is very much a labor of love for me, a passion project. And then I'm still searching. I am looking for my next full-time role. I left when my position was eliminated from my last full-time role and have been teaching and doing quite a bit of interim work in the meantime and some consulting work, but I'm still hoping to find my Goldilocks position of just right at some place. So that continues, but I am very much still engaged with the podcast and enjoying spreading the word about getting corporations involved in trying to join the fight against human trafficking and forced labor. Gwen, could you tell us the topic you are speaking on or the panel you're on at Compliance Week 2023 and perhaps a teaser or two? Sure. Not coincidentally, the the session will be on human trafficking, but more specifically on human rights in general and the new push for uh, the recognition of human rights and human rights due diligence within the supply chain for corporations. We're going to talk a bit about new legislation that's coming out in Europe, the Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive that will require human rights diligence. We're going to talk a bit about what the U.S. government is doing in relation to enforcement of human trafficking prevention efforts, specifically around the Uyghur Forced Labor Protection Act. We, as of Compliance Week, will be just shy of a year into enforcement under that act. So we're going to talk a bit about what we've seen in that first year of enforcement and what it looks like. And then we'll prognosticate a bit as well where we're headed and what we think is coming next. Gwen, I can't wait for your session because I want to ask you the following question. I'm going to tell you the question so you can (laughs) pontificate on it and you'll be ready for it. it. Sure. Yes. The question is, will the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act be the model used for uh, ongoing anti-corruption, anti-money laundering, and other export control and sanction legislation? So I will leave you that question. You may ponder it and give us your thoughts at Compliance Week. 2022. So in addition to waiting for the chance to answer my question, what do you hope to get out of the conference this year? (laughs) I am uh, really looking forward to a few different sessions. There's a women's gathering on the first day of the session that has a few speakers I'm especially especially excited about, about seeing and connecting with. In all honesty, I really look forward to the government speakers at Compliance Week. I think that's one of the real draws of this conference as compared to others, is you get to hear it from the horse's mouth, if you will, from regulators talking about what they're working on that impacts compliance. I'm hoping that we'll get a little more flavor and guidance around the DOJ guidelines. I'm always interested in ephemeral messaging and what's happening there, and there's been a lot of movement there. Uh, And I really like comparing notes with people about the new requirements around certification for compliance officers. That's a hot topic as well. So all of those things, not to mention seeing you, which I'm looking forward to as well. Gwen, before we leave, could you tell our listeners the name of your podcast and where they can find it? Absolutely. It is called Hidden Traffic, and you can find it on any of the networks. It's on Apple, it's on Spotify, but it is hosted by your network, the Compliance Podcast Network. Find it wherever you stream your podcasts. I think I'm 30 plus episodes in now, so lots to listen to. Gwen, thanks again. I look forward to seeing you next month at Compliance Week 2022. Thank you. 23. Yeah, you too.